What up, guys? Happy Saturday. Uh, we got another George Carlin dubbing, Thomas. Uh, if you haven't watched the first one I did, uh, go ahead and uh, check it out. Um, it'll be at the end of this video in the end screen, but um, I really enjoyed the first one, and there's many more of these. I'm going to try and do all of these. Um, so we're at number three. Um, I know I'm going to laugh my ass off, so um, let's get right into it. Good morning, Percy, he whistled. Driving is fun, isn't it? Did you ever run over a guy, huh? And then you panic, so you back up and run over him again? Did you ever notice the second crunch is not as loud as the first? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Thomas, of course, but... Uh, but what, Percy? Out with it. I think it's because the guy already has tread marks on him. Might as well run over him again. What are you gonna do this time? Drive around him? <laughs> I think you are both sorry and deserve a treat. Edward will go in front to clear the line. Thomas will look after the coaches, and Gordon run into a bakery and ask if they can bake a cake in the shape of a penis. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Please look in the tank and tell me what you see. Certainly, Inspector, replied Sir Topham Hatt. He clambered up, looked in, and nearly fell off in surprise. Someone defecating. <laughs> they carefully made his fire, putting large lumps of coal... It all fits so perfectly! like a wall round the outside. Holy guacamole, my ass is burning, <laughs> complained Henry. Meanwhile, I don't know how a train has one of those, but I guess so. While the inspector was looking for his hat, you just saw the fucking thing, said Sir Topham Hat. Oh! Well, Scruffy. Yeah! I'm coming apart! <laughs> God, that shit hurts. Also, one of my favorite episodes. It's shameful to treat tender engines like this. It isn't amusing. It's precious half-wit bullshit. The engines had decided to go on strike. Engines going on public roads must have their wheels covered and a cow catcher in front. Fuck you, I don't do that, <laughs> said Thomas. Don't forget, if you refuse to cooperate, Mr. Policeman will beat you to death. Sir Top of the Hat was having breakfast. How would you like a nice tongue sandwich? It's made from slices of a cow's tongue. Are you fucking trying to make me sick? Said Sir Topham Hat. Well, how do you know you don't like it if you've never even tried it? It came to me in a dream. Stop! 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 I I'm pretty sure you wouldn't need a dream to not want to eat that <laughs> well the coaches you've left the refreshment lady behind oh shit goddamn door is still wide open groaned peterson <laughs> we're sure to miss henry now <laughs> thomas was impatient i'm so fucking impatient said thomas <laughs> hello percy said sir Wait. topham hat you look <laughs> the nerd says that he's impatient he literally says he's impatient <laughs> well i gotta watch that again <laughs> Fucking impatient. Wait, I gotta, I'm sorry, I gotta watch that part again. Ow. Thomas was impatient. I'm so fucking impatient, <laughs> said Thomas. Hello, great. Percy, said Sir Topham That's Hatt. Great. You look tired. I think a guy should be able to declare himself legally tired, said Percy, so he could get out of doing things he didn't want to do. Percy, what are you talking about? Sounds like a lot of people today. Out. The ghost train. Drivers saw it last night. What about goblins? Asked Thomas and Toby. And zombies? Where the fuck are all the zombies? He didn't say. Oh, it makes my wheels wobble to think of it. Puh, said Thomas. Personally, I think it's a bunch of shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's got no zombies in it, so the story sucks, okay? I've just seen something, said Toby. It it looked it looked like Percy's ghost. It it it, it, it said it w w was coming coming he here to w warn us. I'm not about to fuck with a ghost car. Let someone else flag down the Flying Dutchman. It's not my job. <laughs> Sorry, not today. We must get the ice cream ready for the passengers. Never mind, Duncan. But Duncan did mind. I'm gonna kill the next motherfucker who pisses me off. <laughs> Where is Thomas? He doesn't usually make us wait. Maybe he's home banging the babysitter, laughed the driver. <laughs> but whatever is that rubbish? 
The rubbish turned out to be Annie, Clarabelle, and Henrietta, who were most offended. Fuck you! They fumed. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you swank around with your steamroller wheels, pretending you're as good as me. Actually, I'm better. Adios, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the engines found it hard to sleep. Okay. That actual episode, that line of anything, I think would fit that moment better than anything we've watched so far. That that's that's beautiful. I gotta watch that again. <laughs> Actually, I'm better. Adios. You're pretending you're as good as me. Actually, I'm better. Adios, motherfucker. <laughs> it's so perfect. The engines found it hard to sleep. What we need, suggested Toby, is to listen to a story. Turn on the fucking TV, cried Percy. I want to watch Survivor. <laughs> Duke's driver and fireman oiled and greased him one last time. They sheeted him snugly and said goodbye. Then they had to go away and find work. I want everyone to know it was great being alive, and I really enjoyed myself. He sighed. I especially enjoyed fucking and going to the movie. <laughs> Duck slowly and carefully set off across the bridge. Bulgy wailed as he felt the bridge quiver. Oh, oh, oh. Stop, he shouted. It might fall on me. Somehow, said Duck, I enjoy watching people suffer. <laughs> Stop! Stop! You're going the wrong way! But it's a backing signal, Percy protested and told him about Gordon and James. What are they, fucking stupid? <laughs> said his driver. Has everybody lost their goddamn mind? <laughs> Suddenly he heard an That's so fitting for that episode. <laughs> an extraordinary noise. Whee! <laughs> Sounds like he's taking a shit, he said. <laughs> Sleepers and ballast, I'm off. And he was. Duncan has done it again. Come on, old boy, we'll have to get him out. The little diesel refused to move. Are you kidding? He's an asshole. Look, just five minutes, okay? Ah, uh, okay. Five <laughs> minutes. But no more. After that, I'm gonna puke. And Rusty <laughs> roared into life. He went to a workshop and they showed him all sorts of engines. At last, he saw a smart little green engine with four wheels. That's the one, he thought. If I choose you, will you work hard? Big bats down to one five. Five over cross up the thingo. Nose, baseball, hieroglyphics, hopscotch, pouch. Inevitably, two, four, eight, four, eight, four, eight, four, eight. I, I with the two, two, two. Three, four, five. Down here, mother, we're all home now. Sir Topham Hatch what? felt exhausted. <laughs> Fuck that, said Sir Topham Hatch. What a noise. Ah, oh, that's it. All right. Um, well, that was a lot of fun. Um, can't wait to do more of these, but hopefully you guys enjoyed these last two videos. We'll see you next week for more. Um, obviously, feel free to suggest any other stuff you want to see me do, and I'll try and make it happen. But um, until next time, guys, like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell for each and every upload. Twitter, Discord, the forum. Wait. Hold on. This is the wrong YouTube channel. It's, I say that for my other YouTube channel. Um, you can find the link to that in the description as well. But uh, my Twitter and my merch is in the description below. You can check those out. Um, that's all I got. So um, have a great day. We'll see you guys next week. Goodbye, everybody.